peeps. Here's a little shot of the old, uh, some of the uh, model stash and workstation. And you can see here I'm working on Skipjack and the Graf Zeppelin limp, which I may try to replicate the Hindenburg, but the Hindenburg had some differences in it, um, like windows that were down here that this model doesn't have. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see. Anyhow, let me turn the camera on and show you what I'm working on. So both of these are very long kits, right? This is a 172nd scale. And if you remember in the video, we had, this was in quarters. So <clears throat> what I'm working on is filling the seam all the way across the length and at the halfway point. So I'm working on that and uh, it's starting to look pretty decent. Same thing with the blimp over here. Uh, you can see this is my second bead of uh, filler. And what I started using at first was this plastic putty from Vallejo. And I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. It's It doesn't seem to harden, and it's like sanding rubber um, when it's done. This Mr. White Putty uh, seems to do a better job. Um, it is much more sandable than this stuff is. Uh, this just clumps up your, your, your sanding tools. Um, so it's kind of a pain. Here are the, uh, the engines for the blimp. And this is a really strange translucent plastic, you know, the way this is made. I always thought it was glowing in the dark or something, but it's not. It's just a, you know, there ain't a lot of pigment in it. So anyhow, those are drying and uh, we'll put those on after this thing gets its paint job. Uh, because I want to get a nice smooth finish on here. And then I'm probably going to do some random off-colored sections of, of the blimp. Because all the historical photos I see, it's like that, right? You have darker spots, lighter spots, whatever. But generally, it's going to be aluminum. <clears throat> this one here, the Skipjack, um, the seams are pretty good. Uh, you can see where I have some low spots that I filled. That's nice and smooth. And, you know, over here, as you're working, you'll have to rescribe some of your panel lines. But these are offset quite a bit, especially on the other side here. You can see where I have a little bit more, a little bit more putty. But I do prefer the, uh, the halves coming together this way because there's so much detail on the top. If the seam was up here, you'd have a hell of a time trying to you know, rescribe these things back in. So that's why they made it this way. Okay. Um, I'm just using sanding blocks. And this is a really nice little soft sanding block here. <laughs> Came with a bag of different grits. Hook loop kind of a deal for Velcro. So they're easy to remove. And that's what we're doing. So we'll let this, uh, let this settle down. I wipe it down with a, a damp rag and I'll go ahead and put another, actually what I'm gonna do is I may just take some light gray paint and just kind of brush that on in all the seams and then that'll really pop out where the low areas are and then I can just focus on those areas instead of wasting a bunch of putty. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.